Ever wondered about the secret behind some kindergarten teacher's success? Well it's not magic, nor is it sheer luck. It's a blend of dedication, understanding, and the right strategies. Kindergarten teaching can be a challenging task, with its own unique set of hurdles. But fear not, this video is here to equip you with practical and effective tips to navigate these challenges and make your teaching journey smoother and more rewarding. So buckle up and stay tuned as we delve into these top tips for teaching kindergarten. Firstly, setting clear expectations. Now this is a cornerstone for any successful classroom, but it's particularly vital when we're talking about kindergartners. We're shaping not just their academic progress but their behavior and understanding of what learning is all about. So how do we set clear expectations? Well it can be as simple as using visual aids. A colorful chart or a fun mascot can be a great way to illustrate the behavior you want to see. And then there are rewards. We're not talking about bribing here but a little positive reinforcement can go a long way. But the key really is consistency. Expectations should be reinforced regularly. This isn't a one and done deal. It's about creating a culture of respect, effort, and curiosity. And this starts with setting the tone from day one and sticking to it. So, remember, clear expectations are your allies in the classroom. Now let's delve into the power of play-based learning. This isn't just about fun and games, folks. Play-based learning is a crucial strategy for teaching kindergarten. Why, you ask? Well, it fosters creativity, social skills, and cognitive development in our little learners. Imagine a child building a tower with blocks, as simple as it seems, it's a hands-on experience that sparks their imagination, teaches them about balance and shapes, and even encourages teamwork if they're building with a buddy, or consider a pretend play corner where they role-play different professions. This not only fuels their creativity, but also boosts their social skills as they interact and negotiate roles with their peers. Moreover, play-based learning isn't limited to physical activities. Storytelling, for instance, can be an interactive and engaging way to teach language skills and broaden their vocabulary. So, remember, in a kindergarten setting, play isn't just play, it's a powerful, multifaceted learning tool. Never underestimate the power of play and learning. Next up, fostering a positive classroom environment. This is the heart of every successful kindergarten classroom. It's all about creating a space that's welcoming, safe, and supportive. How do you achieve this? Well, it all starts with positive reinforcement recognize and reward good behavior. This not only encourages repeat actions but also motivates other students to follow suit. Encourage peer interaction too, create activities that foster teamwork and cooperation. This not only enhances social skills but also builds a sense of community within the class. And don't forget to display students' work. This boosts their confidence and gives them a sense of pride in their accomplishments. It also gives the classroom a personal touch, making it feel like a second home to the students. Remember, a positive environment doesn't just happen, it's created with intention, patience, and lots of love from the teacher. A positive classroom is a thriving classroom. Now that we've covered our top tips, let's do a quick recap. We've learned that setting clear expectations from day one is crucial. It helps children understand what's expected of them and creates a structured environment. We also delved into the importance of incorporating play-based learning. By making learning fun, we can engage our little ones more effectively. And lastly, fostering a positive classroom environment is key. A nurturing, supportive space encourages children to thrive. Implement these strategies and you'll be on your way to a successful kindergarten teaching experience.